at it again, baby! Yes! Oh! Oh! Okay, I gotta say I'm excited. Yes, I do mostly Dragon Ball figures and occasional some other things in there, but this is my other love. And uh, when I say other love, I just love the concept of these guys. They're so freaking cool. But today, we have got... Oh boy, here we go, here we go, here we go. You ready? Muhammad Mamano Wolverine. I... I think I did it okay, let me know in the comments, I'm not really sure. Uh, but I am so excited for him, uh, Samurai sort of thing, like, mixed with Wolverine and Marvel, and, uh, it's a manga realization. Uh, but anyways, looking really nice in the box, looking great on, uh, promo shots, very, very just, ooh. And, uh, I will say, this is probably, like, my third one that I've done of these, uh, these guys, and, um... I did Spider-Man and Iron Man like uh, a while ago, and uh, we're not gonna talk about how ugly that video it comes with. But let's go ahead and break this guy out. Ew! Did you see it? Like, oh, oh, lighting was horrible. But anyways, Tomashi Nation's quality sticker right there, showing off Samurai Will Smith and doing doing the things. A uh, little bit of promo shots on the side, looking really cool. I love the way they do these. Uh, like when you put them in the collection, you can have all of their faces facing out, or you can have the names, which it's kind of boring. So have the face is sticking out. Uh, and then on the back here, maybe three promo shots at best, but they still look really good. I've been gushing about this box. Let's actually gush about the figure. And there he is out of the box on this lovely turntable thing looking really nice like I am so Like like I said, this is like my secret secret love sort of thing um, And they're so freaking cool like the the sculpting in the um, the paint apps is what gets it I will say that the the color of the arms is very off-putting to me. It's like he's got jaundice or something, but like just just all the details look really nice I can't wait to actually get into this dude or this figure or whatever uh, Just looking really cool loving all the designs and stuff um and that little bird beak nose. It's kind of funny looking uh, but oh let's whew, let's, Oh my god, I, I've already losing let's go and do this guys and so moving straight on into articulation here, uh, Samurai Wolverine Boy can do full 360 around the arms. Uh, that is uh, a little bit of a problem for me right there. The, the, the claws don't want to stay in. Uh, I don't want to say double jointed um, elbows. Uh, there's, a, there's like a ball joint with the elbow, but it doesn't have like the articulation uh, points as a double jointed elbow, so I'm not gonna say that a little bit of a ball joint within the wrist He can go up that much and go back that much. So not really crazy impressive there uh, Can it's got a little a little bit of a slight butterfly joint going on right there Nothing nothing crazy special or anything. He can kind of punch uh, Has an ah, crutch that can go down that way or look down and then bend it back uh, that far so that's 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 pretty okay uh, has a hip joint right there as you can see the little gap happens uh, and then we just push it back in like so so it doesn't look weird uh, and then another claw fell out uh, I do say double jointed knees <laughs> I, I don't know why I said like some uh, 20 20th or 20th century commissioner. I do say, I do declare. Uh, 20 years. Uh, anyway, uh, double jointed knees right there. Got some, a little bit of limited toe action. Just a little bit can put his toes down like that, like, hey, big boy, or hey, Gene. Or, and uh, and then can, can put him up like that. A uh, little, not, not, not too crazy. Can split about that much. Does not have... I would say a bicep swivel right there can like spin around, but it's on the ball joint in there as well. Uh, so it's kind of like, uh, I would say almost like Marvel Legends or old school Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends uh, with that ball joint right there, which is not my favorite. Uh, but anyways, could split that far, can kick about that much, which isn't too impressive. And same thing can be said on both sides here. Can look up. Not much at all. Like seriously, this uh, this 
this thing right here. Not not sure what to call it, but love it anyways. Uh, stops his movement looking up completely. Uh, and can look down about that much, so nothing, nothing really too special right there. And uh, as I said before, these guys, they... They're a little lacking in articulation, I will say, but boy, do they make it up in the paint apps and sculpting, and oh god, it is so, so good looking at the dude. Uh, even though the articulation is a little limited, I still do love the guy. Um, and uh, speaking of paint apps and sculpting, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is probably going to be the longest section of this video, so bear, bear with me. But, oh, paint apps and sculpting. So we're looking at the face already here and it looks really good. Um, I love, like, there's just a little bit of uh, like stubble or, or scruff or whatever you want to call it around his face, uh, giving you a nice look. Like I said, I'm not a fan of these jaundice arms. They're 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 kind of killing it for me. But uh, we're gonna overlook that and look at the rest of it. So the sculpting around the face is fan freaking tastic. He's got like a bird nose uh, covering that, and then also like the the chin kind of like comes up. So maybe maybe it's some type of animal or something that it is uh, it's uh, portraying here. Uh, the there's like gold on the nose piece as well. The eyes are perfectly white. There's a little bit of black around the eyes. Uh, and then you got some like almost blades coming out from the rest of his uh, uh, his chin here. So that looks really cool. Uh, the teeth are perfectly white. They got uh, black on both sides on the outside there to give you the actual feel and look of the mouth. This, this crazy Batman horn thing uh, is decently sharp, like ow. Uh, so when you poke it like that, um, it's got like a little bit of sculpting right there. Got like a, almost a glossy, like shimmering look. Uh, I wouldn't say shimmering because that's that's glitter and that's that's not what's going on here. The back looking really nice. Like the sculpting on this headpiece is, God, it, it just kills me how how awesome they are with this and like bringing the. Like, if this were to be a real... I don't know. I, I'm just going to go into it. It looks freaking cool. Um, and, like, just the, the sculpting around here, like, it looks so good. Uh, moving down to his chest, I would say. Uh, so, like, we've almost got, like, this royal thing coming from uh, right there. It's almost... To me, it's almost got an Egyptian look, but I definitely know it is not Egyptian. Uh, these plate, these plates right here on both sides of the chest look really good. They have a little bit of an indention and then some weathering look uh, on there, looking really freaking cool. Uh, the weathering and the the black, like uh, just that looks so good on the chest. Uh, you got these two little hooks there for uh, armor sort of things I'm not a master at this as I've said before uh, and then I like the, the the tiger stripes looking really good they're sculpted in there and they're not just painted on so that looks really cool uh, the definition in between the lines uh, like black also weathered looking looks really cool uh, going around to the back here got like a gold plating and the blue is fan freaking fantastic uh, we didn't show off the shoulder pieces here so, uh, kind of like that shoulder piece that he has um, in, I don't know, Jim Lee's Wolverine. Uh, it's It's got it right there, and it's like curved up over here. That's the way it properly looks. Uh, but this is turned to the side so you can actually see it going on there. Um, same same freaking cool stuff. Like a weathered, weathered look right there. A little bit of sculpting, like just giving it an armor look. Looking, oh, so good. Uh, jaundice arms, but the jaundice arms do have some pretty cool veins. Uh, not the best, I would say. And then we come down to these gauntlets here. And these gauntlets are so freaking cool. Like, got gold-plated emblems going into there. And then some uh, steel little bevels or buttons or whatever you want to call them. Like, a really cool. Uh, all while having a weathering look. Like, a little bit of a light blue down here. And then it goes up to darker, which is so freaking cool. And then... I believe it doesn't doesn't no okay so it doesn't do it so this this part is connected to the gauntlet so you can't move this without moving that uh, moving over here to the side here like a dirty weathered look looking really cool uh, the, the actual 
things here, almost like wire holding on the, the gauntlets and the gloves. Looking really cool. They're, they're, they're hands, but they're really cool freaking hands. Like just the, the paint apps on this is meticulous. That's what I'm gonna say. They're meticulous. Yeah, meticulous paint apps. Uh, this dagger right here is so freaking cool as well. Like it's got the X-Men symbol on this little dagger here and then it goes all the way around his back and then is tied around so that looks really awesome uh, the these these things right here they're soft plastic and they can go up like that and we don't want to see his crotch or anything but that's what it looks like under there um, these same looking really cool love love like the like it doesn't need to be this way, but it is this way. The bottom of it looks like it's real as well, just giving it that look. And then you've got this, and then like the leather part, the X's looking so freaking cool. Just like so much attention to detail, it's unreal. Uh, and then as I just noticed right here, I did want to show you that's where the claws go and we'll get into those claws later there's like three sets and they're really freaking cool oh the back uh same thing sculpting really cool move that up and it's got the same look as it does out here on the thighs um the legs here i've never really been a big fan of the legs uh with these figures they kind of look like just molded this one looks like a molded uh sculpting of just mustard somebody took hardened mustard and turned it into a leg uh, but it still does look really cool as far as the shading goes that looks really nice but it does give it the the, the pants feel like uh, especially from that age that looks really good as well and God, I told you this is gonna take forever uh, going down to his feet here looking really nice like uh, got a really 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 good shading really paint uh, cool paint apps right there and then uh, just just in between each little each little level on the the thing here you've got just a little bit of just almost like rest rust looking like weathered look and then we come down to the toes and the toes looking nice he's got those uh ninja turtle flip-flops but that that looks really cool and here's 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 another part that i like a lot look at that it's an x for x-men obviously x-men duh but there's like a little x on the back of his heel so that looks really cool so that took forever but that is all for uh paint apps and uh sculpting which is good oh ooh, so good uh now we will go ahead and move into accessories uh and there's really not much to show off but i'm gonna show them off anyway oh didn't show the head uh see the head right there it's got like almost like a what is that like a diamond thing sort of thing look at just all of it looks really freaking cool if you love these figures or if you're wondering about these figures like i said the paint apps and sculpting is what brings these figures to life the articulation is a little lacking as i said before but oh <laughs> let's talk about the claws all right guys so here is uh the first pair of uh wolverine or you know i'm not even gonna say it uh, his claws and they're serrated they're serrated blades and they're like they're longer than his forearm which is so so freaking cool he's got like three swords on on his arms they're not like little claws that would be like Bruh. and I'm not saying like Wolverine's claws are unimpressive or anything because I can't do that I don't think anyone can do that but I mean like they're, they're swords they're three swords on his hand and it looks so cool like and he doesn't even come with a traditional katana or anything which is so so freaking cool but uh there they are to the side and here they are looking front uh faced and like and this just like so th they are plain silver I will say that uh, but I mean do they need to be like it would be cool if they were maybe like uh like the rest of the armor a little weathered or something like that but they're clean they're i mean a good a good samurai or a good warrior in itself keeps his blades and uh his weapons clean uh and doesn't doesn't let them be you know tainted or uh soiled by uh the things that he's done in the past he keeps them clean uh as in coming into a new battle with a new face i don't know why i'm talking all uh philosophical or anything but i am uh, so the, the they look really cool let's go ahead and show you the other ones okay uh so here are the other ones they are more of a traditional style wolverine claws uh and they look really cool uh as you can see there's only it looks like there's only one but 
Fear you not, people. There's three. Uh, but they're, they're, they're normal claws, but they are the same length as the serrated ones, I would say. Like, eh. Yeah, they're the same length as the serrated ones, so that's really cool. Um, I, I would say they're not the most impressive, but they are pretty cool. I think the serrated are what's going to go up in my display. Uh, and the last one, I had to figure out what they are, but they totally make sense of what they are now. Uh, so the last ones are like, ah, uh, they're... They're like climbing. Uh, they're climbing swords, climbing claws, something, something of that sort. But so you can be all Sekiro on some people, and uh, or he could be all Sekiro. Uh, shadows die twice on some people. Climb up behind them, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty violent. But looks really cool. I uh, love uh, the thing right here. And then if we look a little closer there, there's a like a little bit of a like a bevel or a sculpting thing right there to give it a, like it's it's not just a plain blade there is uh, some type of definition to it there they are from the front I uh, can't really tell like they are a little wider on the on the uh, on the tips there so giving him more of a thing that he can grab onto uh, so that looks really cool and the last thing is his hands um, I'll show you those real 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 quick uh, and I'm gonna do more of a zoom up shot uh, because these hands are cool like they're not they're not like normal Tomashi Nation's hands to where it's just like eh, you can't see what I'm doing but yeah so I know what you're thinking you're like why why is Wolverine all like take my strong hand but uh, th this is the best way to show the hand and the other hand looks exactly the same uh, it's the same type of sculpting same type of uh, shape here, uh, but it looks really good. It matches the gauntlet really well And then the gold here on on the gloves looks really cool as well uh, Looking on the inside because that's natural um, He's got some some weather shading sort of things like a, a, a crease within the glove So that looks really nice and then uh, the fingers fingers like <laughs> uh, the fingers like uh, look really good just the sculpting on here and then the the weather look on the gloves look really good but guys that is it for uh wolverine boy here um or samurai wolverine boy uh now we're gonna go ahead and go into uh scaling and i want to see how tall he is uh compared to the rest or maybe like one or two other people in his line and then we're gonna see how he stacks with some other people in other lines just just to just to give you an idea so Wolverine Boy stands at about, I'm gonna say he's pretty sizable uh, for, because normally this line is pretty tall. Uh, almost eight and a half inches, so maybe like seven and three quarters with the little horn boys and that sounded weird. And seven and a half inches at the top of his head. Uh, so a little on the larger side uh, compared to, you know, what the other ones do. Okay, so there he is uh, next to, I would say, someone from his similar line. They're, they're not like exactly in the line Marvel and Star Wars. Yes, they're in the same company now, but uh, they don't they don't meet. Uh, but that is the Omnimushu Shadow Trooper by Tamashi Nations in the Samurai line uh, movie realization. Uh, SH Fig Arts Gogeta over here. Marvel Legends PS4 Spider-Man. And then we got SH Fig Arts uh, Rock Lee after he has broken some gates. Um, I can't remember how many gates he's broken right here. Maybe like the fourth or fifth fifth gate. I know I know he's not close to death or anything, but it is uh, it's, it's pretty up there. But uh, so that's what he looks like to them. So if you if, to me, he doesn't seem like he scales that well, except for uh, who is uh, in in his line right there. Uh, doesn't it wouldn't make any sense to put him with any Dragon Ball figures or any Naruto, and maybe some Naruto uh, because ninjas and samurais and they're all the sort of thing. Uh, but they're different type of. Yeah, anyways, I'm going into the weeds with everything. Uh, so yeah, that is everything, guys. We have done articulation paint apps and sculpting and boy was that a doozy uh accessories and uh, uh sizing or uh, sizing uh scaling and size comparison so now without further ado it is time to look at this photograph
and gentle collectors, are you all entertained? I, goodness, I, I mean, what do you think? I am, of course I am, but like it's, oh, he's so cool. Like he's so freaking cool. Like the, like, eh, the, the limited articulation is a little bit of a bummer. It kind of stops some of his iconic uh, Wolverine posing. It makes it a little weird, like this is a squat you would do to work out and not a normal Wolverine squat. Uh, but I mean, like, if you can, if you can knock out a really cool pose with him, that's all you got to do. And then he's good. He, he's Gucci baby for, um, I mean, until you want to move him on your shelf again. Um, like, I do have my little bit of gripes with him, uh, and my little bit of gripes are, one, can't stand you, John Skin. You just, you, you're weird. Like, there is a little bit of shading, kind of just gives it, I don't know. It, it's John Skin. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but, and then the, 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 the claws or the basically the swords in his gauntlets um they're a little hard to get on and in into the gauntlet and uh if you move them around uh a decent amount they do fall out kind of easily uh not not like super easy uh, but you gotta you gotta jam them in there and then hurt your fingers uh but uh that's that's how they stay in but other than that, that's that's my only gripes. Now I will say they are kind of major gripes as far as articulation points go. But God, does the does the paint apps and the sculpting just make up for it in tin spades or whatever you want to call it or tinfold? Uh, it's so cool. My rating scale is like it, love it, got to freaking have it, and I'm gonna say love it. I I do love this guy. Uh, to me, in my mind, uh, and knowing how these figures are in themselves, personally, it's a gotta freaking have it. But, like, objectively, I would say love it. Because, like I said, the articulation points do make it a little hard to, you know, get the stuff done. But, uh, that is, that is, that's how I feel. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about them. Did I did I uh, change your opinion about this line? Did I make them cooler? Did I make them like, well, that's definitely not what I want. I'm never, I'm not gonna, not gonna get this guy. Or are you kind of partial? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know because I know this is a, a decently popular line, but it's not the most popular, which is. To me, it's a bummer because these are so freaking cool. I cannot wait until we get a Thanos. I know it's happening. I don't know when it's happening, but it, it's it's probably gonna happen. There's no official release or anything like that, so don't don't um don't don't quote me on that. And speaking of official releases and everything, uh, this is related to him. Uh, I am going to be starting a new news show and it is going to be called Last Week in Toys and it's going to basically be me talking about uh, what happened in toys that week uh, for news and just giving you a rundown and everything. Sometimes I do them for like conventions and stuff. I'll probably do like up to date ones for conventions and stuff uh, but that that's, that's coming down the line. It's in the pipe. It's in the works. Uh, so that is something to look forward to but Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I really, really love the fact that you guys are commenting and just interacting with me in in the comments, huh? Um, and stuff. If you know somebody that might like this dude, or maybe you just want to share it. And when I say share it, I mean uh, I've I've been seeing a lot of things in the trends as far as my videos go uh, that sharing does help and. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying to say help me get to 500 so I can hit my New Year's goal, but help me get to 500 so I can hit my New Year's goal. That would be so freaking cool. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, I am so sorry for blabbing your ears off or whatever. Compton, out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button to let you know when my videos are coming out. And YouTube and math say you'll probably like that video over to the right. So you should probably click that. Yeah? All right. See you guys next time.